Go ahead, John. I do have one question. So they're proposing all of this, uh, these changes. Is there, are they proposing like how much money is this supposed to like bring into the government? Like what, what's, what's the difference between what it's bringing in and what it's costing? Okay. Great question. Great question. Mm -hmm. They're trying to raise $3.5 trillion. This particular piece of legislation, they estimate, will raise $100 million. <laughs> it ain't a drop of water in a ocean of what they need to do. So they're raising three and a half. They want to do three and a half trillion. And this can this can bring in about 100 million. Yep. Wow. Yep. That, yeah. And and, <clears throat> and if you it, when you begin to understand the distance between a million and a billion and then from a billion to a trillion, you realize we're talking about pecs, little specks of fly residue on a huge mound in the middle of the forest. OK, yeah, so so it's not about money then. It's so we can we can all control. scratch that off. Anyone who was thinking that you can scratch that off your list. It's not about revenue. It's, that about, they're control. Yeah. it's about control. It's about control. Mm -hmm. And it's about one last thing. There are a segment of our rep elected representatives that are absolutely indignant that people like Peter Thiel have got this big of a Roth IRA or people like Senator Mitt Romney, who I don't trust. I'm sorry, has that big of a traditional IRA. Believe me, mm -hmm. they'd be picking on Mitt, but P but Peter Thiel is a more attractive target, okay? Right. Because Peter T Peter Thiel right. got to five billion in his Roth IRA, okay? And candidly, he shouldn't have gotten there because he didn't play by a by a certain rule. And I mean, Quincy and I have talked about this. Hire and I have talked about this. We all have a different opinion on it. And I, Quincy and I, are basically flat out saying it was a prohibited transaction. He couldn't have done it. Right.